welcome to my channel that's all about helping you and your pet live the best life together. If you've seen some of my latest videos, then you know that I have a new puppy. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I am training my puppy and give you some really good tips and tricks for training puppies. It's a really fun way to get your dog to learn some harder concepts like drop it and off and just to really get your puppy off on the right foot and on the right track to being your best companion. So this is Millie. She is my new puppy. She is about 15 weeks old now. Say hi Millie. She is a really great dog. She's been really easy to train compared to the other dogs that I've trained and my dog that is two years old, Penny, she was a lot harder as a puppy to train, but Millie here has just been a lot of fun. And I'm gonna show you now some of the games that we've been playing. These games can be played with any puppy or any dog of any age, and they're really great for um, teaching your dog some basic concepts and just really growing your relationship and your bond with your dog. If you're interested in where I got this shirt, it's a really cute kind of watercolor cat shirt. I'll leave the link below and you can check that out. It's from Etsy. For the most effective training, use positive reinforcement training techniques. So this means that you are rewarding your dog with either a treat or a toy or letting them do something that they want to do like getting outside when they do something that you like and when they do something that you want them to do. So this means using lots of treats when they are doing something that you like and when they are doing something that you dislike or you don't want them to do you redirect or distract and then show them the appropriate or the proper way or what you want them to be doing instead. And then you reward them for doing that behavior that you want them to do, the behavior that you like. So it's a lot of distraction and redirecting and showing them what to do instead of punishing them or showing them what not to do. So there's no, absolutely no punishment or anything physical like pushing them down into a sit. Instead, you wait for them to naturally sit and then you re reward them for doing that. Training doesn't need to be serious and strict. You can make it fun, make it enjoyable. That's actually better uh, for your dog when it is fun and enjoyable. Something that I like to remember is if you are frustrated or if you're having a terrible time or if you dislike training, your dog is feeling the exact same way. If you're enjoying training and having a good time and being positive and happy about it, your dog is enjoying it and being positive and happy about it. So playing is how puppies learn to behave and when you do this you will grow a really strong bond with your dog. Playing and training your dog in this way really influences your relationship with your dog. There are some rules though when you are playing with your dog and when you're using puppy training games to teach your dog how to do certain things. You don't want to over arouse your dog so you don't want too much rough and tumble play or wrestling. Keep these kind of behaviors for other dogs. So your puppy will learn how to rough and tumble and be really aggressive with other dogs. You don't want your puppy to learn to be rough and tumble with you. You, a human and other humans, play a different kind of game with puppies. You you don't play like a dog, you play like a human and your dog needs to learn how to interact with dogs and how to interact with humans. So you don't, you want to avoid rough and tumble and you want to be sh aware that accidents, like little bites, are going to happen, especially with a puppy. They're teething, and puppies only know how to play with biting. That's how dogs play. They kind of fake bite each other, nip, give each other little nips. So your puppy is definitely going to try and do that to you. You just want to discourage that. So you need kind of structured games. It's not just play whatever game. Dogs play by gently biting each other. It's normal, and an older dog will growl if the puppy goes too far and the puppy backs off right away. It is how they learn what is appropriate and what isn't. So dogs need to learn to play with humans differently. You never want to play slap the face games. This teaches dogs to snap at hands approaching their face. So slap the face is when you kind of have your right hand and your left on hand on either side of your dog's face and wave them about and wiggle them and your dog tries to bite each hand, go right and left and bite, bite, bite. 
you want to avoid chase games. Dogs love chase games, and this is a game that they can play with other dogs, but not a game that you play with humans. You don't want your dog to think of you as someone or something that they should be running away from. Even if it's just a game, they won't may not understand the difference between a game and a serious situation. So that's just something you don't want them to ever get in the habit with. So the basic idea is you're trying to get her to put something in her mouth and then you say drop it and give her a treat. So she has to drop it to eat the treat. Now this isn't working because she doesn't want to take it. But you're labeling take it just so she learns that putting something in her mouth is taking it. So you're saying it, take it, take it. And when she does, Say, good girl, good girl, and pull and play a bit. And then after a second, say, drop it. And let go of your hand. Grab a treat. Oh, yeah, you come for the treats, do you? And then say, drop it. And she'll have to drop it to eat the treat. You don't get a treat. Take it. Take it. You don't want to play this game? Take it. Okay, sit. Sit. Good girl. Take it. So right now, all she's interested in is the treats. She knows I have the treats. Take it. Take it. Let's play. The second game, which is which hand? So I have some treats in my hand. You can just have one, it's fine. And I'm going to show her, so I'm showing her both hands. One has it and one doesn't. I'm going to put them behind my back and take them out. And then open the first hand that she smells. There's nothing there. So this is more just a bonding exercise so she didn't get the right hand. So I'm going to off. Now she did get off, so I'm going to reward her. Off. I'm going to show her the treats. Close my hands. Put my hands behind my back. Take my hands out exactly the same way. I'm not switching the treats. Now she touched this hand first. I should be quicker, but I'm talking, so I'm slower. So I'm going to show it. That's the wrong hand. So she doesn't get the treat. I'm going to open, show them. Before she gets it, slam them shut. Maybe I'll show her twice this time. I'm going to take my hands away, bring my hands back. <gasps> Good girl! She went to the right hand this time. So this isn't really, she's not learning anything as she was in this game with the drop it, but she's learning to listen to me, to watch me, and we're just growing a bond and a relationship. So let's try it again. Off. So you have to be quick. So you see the treat in that hand. I'm going to draw some attention to this hand. There's nothing there. There's a treat there. There's nothing here. Take both hands away and bring them back. Nothing there. Take them away. Let's show again. Treat. Nothing. Treat. Nothing. Take my hands away. Show again. She went to this one first and she was right. And as they get better, you can switch the treats because they will be able to smell which hand has the treat in. Hold, take your hands away for a longer time. Mix up your hands. There's lots of fun things you can do. So this is more just a relationship building exercise. The next game is going to be a hide it game. So. I'm going to show Millie the toy, and then I'm going to put it somewhere. She obviously saw where I put it, because we're just starting this game, she's just learning. And I'm going to say, find it! Now she has no clue what I want, so I'm going to take a treat and show her where to go and what I want. Good girl! 
and then treat her. You can also start really simple like this. Find it! What are you doing? Find it! There it is! Kind of like peekaboo. Now you can see that she's not interested at all. So I'm going to take a treat off and I'm going to stick it somewhere. Find it! Go get it! Find it! What are you doing? Find it! Come. Here it is. Good girl! Find it! Find it! Find it. Good girl, find it. You got a good idea of some of the games. There's a lot of other kind of games that you can play. Yeah, maybe I'll do another video again showing some of these games because it is a really great way to train. It's easy, it's fun. They're really simple games. They don't really seem like games to us, but to dogs, they're, they're a lot of fun. So let's try with this one just for a sec. So get her interested in it. Oh, she's interested. Drop it. Good girl. So just, you have to wait till it's in her mouth. Drop it. And then quickly rush the food to her mouth. Millie, what's this? Millie. Drop it. So she smells the treat coming, so she automatically drops it, but she'll learn that what that means. Drop it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.